All right, Lifers, so I'm gonna walk Drew here through a little bit of a prehab that you guys can do. Basically some mobility work that's gonna help keep you fresh, help keep muscle soreness away, and uh, help keep you moving nice and strong so that you guys are injury free. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna use a little barbell here. Now, you can see uh, Drew's on his left leg, I'm on my right. That barbell is going to be all the way to the side of the leg that you're going to be rolling out. Um, one leg is going to be nice and bent, giving us clearance so that it's not loading up on, uh, loading up any of the bar. And we're going to put the knurling, or the rough part of the bar, right on top of our quad, basically right up in our hip. So we're going to start, you can see we both have our legs turned out. Uh, that leg is going to be externally rotated, knee is going to be nice and straight. From here, we're going to put our hand on the bar, and we are just going to ever so slowly roll that bar towards our knee. Really slow. Let it work through any knots that you've got. This is like deep tissue massage. Oh my god. You don't have to pay for it. Is it bad that my legs fall asleep? Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. Not bad. You're looking for, uh, you're looking for some good pain here. Um, as you're going to work through this, you'll see. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> the noises that you hear coming out of you right now are totally normal. Uh, you should expect them to happen to yourself if, if you're going to do this as well. Uh, this really is going to save you 50, 50, 65 bucks on having to do a massage. You can sit in the gym after or before a workout and, uh, and do this to yourself and it's great. It's going to keep you really nice and fresh. It may hurt in the moment, but the lasting effects are going to be incredible. When you hit a hot spot like Drew's got right now, go ahead and let it sit for a second. You want to try and let that muscle turn off and, rel and relax. So the more you can relax and let those muscles just shut off, the bar is going to get better working. I like to think of this as kind of a meditation time. So breathe through it, relax, take big deep breaths, shut the muscle off, and just move ever so slowly. You made it down to the knee yet? <laughs> Not even close, man. So you're going to roll all the way down to the knee. Let's go ahead and finish out. We can roll down to the knee. Wow. Good, all right, once we're down to that knee, we're just gonna make our way back up. Again, ever so slowly. Make sure you're rolling on the, uh, the handle itself. If you're rolling this big fat part, it will just spin. Oh, okay. Instead of actually moving the handle. <laughs> Drew's really enjoying this right now, so I think you will too. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, guys. So what else can they roll out besides just the leg? <laughs> well, the leg is phenomenal. You can also hit a couple different points, so right there, We've got the medial aspect of our quad. If we turn that foot upright, we're gonna hit the rest of the muscles there, which will be nice. Yeah. We can also internally rotate our leg to get our IT band, which for those of you that are doing a lot of running, this is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, that's um, nice. The IT band gets really tight. It's often kind of hard to get to. If you go a little bit higher up in your hip, there's gonna be about a two inch area that you find your TFL it's gonna be real tender. Uh, that's also an excellent point to hit because you don't hit it too much. Oh. Yeah, I think you just found it. <laughs> the other thing you can do with this bar is you can get your calf if need be. If your calves are tight, again, for those of you that are running, you're gonna set up on one knee. The knee that's down, you're gonna put that bar, set it on the back of your ankle, Point the toe. Oh man. And then just let this roll up towards your knee. Ah. Oh. Yep. If we had a camera on Drew's face right now, oh. this would make things ten times better. I think my calves are tight, farmer. Yeah, there's a good chance. There's a good chance. Oh my god. So a lot of this goes on with mobility. Um, you can see on top of the fitness aspect, staying nice and strong, using rehab to keep you safe, keep you injury free, and it's really important for you. I love it, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna continue to do this, guys. Wow. All right, guys, so we just rolled it out. Cool way of rolling it out. Where did you learn that? Uh, I learned that from Kelly Starrett. Check out mobilitywad.com. The guy is an absolute inspiration for staying yeah. healthy and strong. So go check out his website. That's just a little tidbit of the stuff you can find on there. Yep, mobilitywod.com. Yeah, mobilitywod.com. Yeah, so good stuff, my man. That was awesome. I'm gonna continue to roll it out, guys. Make sure you're doing this as well. I mean, the, the benefits of foam rolling are huge. This is just another way of doing it. 
at your gym, and it's a little bit more effective, I think. Yeah, absolutely. So. It allows you to relax a little bit more. Yeah. Drew Canoli. Shane Farmer. Remember, we're in this together. We'll see you soon.